Good morning, friends. I'm back with another Use Your Scrapbook Paper for Home Decor video. Um, so a few years back, I was at Michael's and I bought these little aluminum galvanized steel kind of tags. They're meant to kind of stand up on their own and, uh, or they could be hanged as well, hanged, hung, whatever. Um, but I plan on using them just as a little decor piece. And it got me thinking, I have a lot of 12 by 12 paper, as I'm sure I've said in previous videos, and I'm always looking for a way to use it. And what inspired this was I had this really pretty um, autumn paper and these really cute little autumn cut aparts, but I don't do my project life vertical this card would have to be like this in order for me to use it. So I was kind of stuck and I didn't really like the backside. So I thought that would be very cute. And then it got me thinking, I have some really pretty six by eight papers that I could use in a similar way. They're double-sided. So I mean, technically I could use the other side in my project life, but I thought this would be a good way to use some of my stash. So my plan is to chalk paint these all white probably and then Mod Podge the large tag piece on. This was a scrap so I didn't actually have enough to do the whole tag so I'm going to have to get creative and cover this. Stay tuned. Um, and then Mod Podge or glue this on and then do the same for all three. So I will be back once these are all chalk painted and ready to go. I don't have a good sized paintbrush for this, so I thought in the spirit of use what you have, I would use a makeup sponge applicator. And the really good thing about doing this and covering it with the scrapbook paper is I don't actually have to paint the whole thing. I can just kind of focus on the edges, which suits me just fine. I think in the end I put three coats of this chalk paint on the edges of these tags. I think that's how many it took. The, uh, the aluminum, I'm not really sure what these are made out of, I'm going to say aluminum, uh, was really good uh, lightweight, but the backs, the like kickstand backs, made it kind of noisy to paint, so it's probably good that I sped this part up. And of course, because nobody's patient, nobody being me, I decided to uh, use my heat tool just to dry the coats in between. And it went a whole lot faster that way. So let me know if you have a good heat tool. I'm in the market for a new one. And I'm back. So I put two coats of the white chalk paint on this. And then I just grabbed another little makeup sponge and my black chalk paint. And then I just kind of went around the edges to give it a bit of a distressed look. So I'm going to do that to the other two and I'll be right back. All right, all done. The wonderful thing about using chalk paint for this, of course, is that you need so very little. And the fact that I'm not coating the whole surface makes it go even faster. Uh, so next will be Mod Podge and I will be Mod Podging the papers on the top and probably do like, I may actually cut these down now that I've got the, the sides of my little metal tag thingies distressed. All I did was um, I measured and then I just cut it with my paper trimmer and then traced um, the edges on the back and just cut them off. But I may bring it down just a wee bit more. And that may also save me from having to fuss with this edge as well. So I think that's what I'll do. Yes. I think in the end, the measurements for these tags ended up being something along the lines of six and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Um, and it was really easy to kind of 
uh, cut the tag so that the edges match. You can see what I'm doing. It's just very basic. And I would definitely get these tags again. I was looking back and remembering when I bought them, and I'm pretty sure they were meant to be wedding decorations of some sort because they came in a pack of six. So I have a coffee-themed one. Now I'll have these ones, and I have one left over, so I'll probably use that for school, but we'll see. All right, I think I've got them all cut down to the size I want. They're just a little bit smaller than the tag that they're on. So um, my dollar store has recently started carrying these small little Mod Podge um, containers, tubes, whatever. Uh, and I love this size. So I will be using yet another makeup sponge and Mod Podging these on. I'll be right back. So I matted the 4x6 card on some burgundy cardstock just to give it a little bit of extra presence. And I'm just mod podging it down. And I think I'll let it dry and see if it needs another coat. So these are already mod podged to the tag. Now I need to figure out if I want to cut this down or if I just want to put it on as is. I think I want to cut it down just a little bit. Yeah, be right back. Okay, so these were originally six by eight pieces of paper and uh, I just cut them down just a little bit more. So that you could see the pattern paper behind it and I'm putting some Mod Podge. I could probably just use um, tape runner or just even regular glue for that matter but I have my Mod Podge on my desk so that's what I'm using. Oops. And I'm okay with the big gap at the top here because I think I'm going to put a ribbon or a bow of some sort maybe just to give it, oh, sorry about that, just to give it a little bit more presence. I think the doggies are awake from their nap, which means my craft time is done. So I will see if I can settle them and I'll be right back. A few hours later, I had to tend to the doggies, which is why the lighting looks so different in here, but this one's all done. This one's all done. And I'm about to fix this weird gap. I also found another one in my stash that I just painted black and just did some light white distressing on the edges. I don't have a plan for that one yet, but I'm sure I'll find something. So I'm just going to take some ribbon and just line it up against that weird edge on the top there just to kind of cover it. And I didn't want to interfere with the hanging hook right there. There, I concealed it, and now I'm thinking I'll just probably put a little ribbon just to make it look like it was purposeful. And that's that. So, all finished. So some, some more DIY home decor using up scrapbook paper and in this case I had these metal things but you could easily do this with a couple of different layers of chipboard 
or cardboard or I mean you could do it with wood if you had those um, those frames from Michaels you could do them in different sizes I'm still here I just stepped away from my desk because I knew I had these so I've done something similar with these from the dollar dollar store uh, you can basically just um, use something to cut this into a tag or leave it as is and then these are just those little frames that you buy I think I got these at dollar store not sure but you could do them in any size you wanted yeah so I will take some still photos and put them at the end of the video hope you enjoyed and I hope you're using some of your scrapbook paper to do something besides scrapbooking that's it for me for today friends thanks for coming to hang out with me uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are enjoying these scrapbook home decor videos, and I'll keep doing them. And uh, I'll see you next video. Bye for now.